let's have a look at question 37 now so what do we have here we have one middle class individual decides to move into this city and the demand for the opera tickets is the following suppose that the decision to construct the park will be taken by a majority vote implying that the park is only built when more than half of the inhabitants uh, vote in favor of the park if the valuation of the middle guy is greater is greater than 25 the park will be constructed so the first step we have to see whether whether the guy that moves into the city the middle the, the middle class person is willing to pay the opera tax is willing to go to the opera because the opera must be founded must be funded from a tax in other words we have to see whether he would have a certain utility loss by paying the tax so when he would not pay the tax when he would not pay the tax the the price would be equal to the marginal cost so the price would be 25 minus the quantity 25 minus the quantity and the marginal cost for the opera ticket is equal to 20 we have it from the beginning of the question somewhere uh, over over here this is the marginal cost of the opera so the marginal cost would be 20 the marginal cost would be 20 meaning that the quantity demanded for, from the middle from the middle guy the middle class guy would be five units so he would like five tickets now what how, how much how much would he demand if there was a tax well we know if there was a tax then the price would equal to the marginal cost plus the tax and the tax would be five euros per ticket so the price of 25 minus the quantity demanded by the middle uh, class person would be equal to 20 plus 5 which is 25 in other words there would be no demand so the quantity in this case would be equal to zero now let's see if there is no demand it means there is a loss in utility because he would enjoy five tickets to the opera but he would not enjoy it after the tax so the tax distorts his happiness let's see by how much and we can see that on a graph if we draw the price and quantity we could draw the price and quantity graph over here what would we get let's see we would have the following we would have the demand which is 25 minus the quantity so 25 over here a slope of negative one that would be the demand function like that the price is set at 20 euros so the price would be 20 uh, okay let's suppose it to be over here now when when the price equals to the marginal cost then we would we would demand five tickets the quantity demanded would be equal to five so we would have a certain consumer surplus we would have a certain consumer surplus that would be our utility the consumer surplus would be equal to one over two one over two times the height which is five and the length which is also five so five times five is 25 divided by two it would be 12.5 12.5 but if the price goes up to 25 if here is the price then we have no consumer surplus so we would have a utility loss if if there is if there is a tax for the opera tickets we would have a utility loss meaning that the middle the middle class person so the middle class person middle class guy let's call him would not go to opera he would not go to opera because he cannot afford it he would not consume it it's too expensive he would not go to opera in other words he would not contribute the opera tax but he would contribute the lump sum tax and the lump sum tax we saw from a couple of videos ago that it's equal to 2500 what was it 2500 euros in total divided by 100 per 100 people it was 25 euros per person but now we have one more person one new person to the city so we have to divide the total lump sum tax of 2500 euros by 101 so divided by 101 that would give us that would give us approximately 24.75 24.75 euros per person that would be the tax now the valuation the valuation that the park gives to the uh, guy from the middle class must compensate for the tax that he has to pay so it must be greater than 24.75 and it must also compensate for the utility of loss for the utility loss of not being able to enjoy the opera in other words the valuation of the of the middle class guy must be greater than or equal to the loss in taxes 24.75 plus the loss in utility which is 12.5 so that would be that the valuation of the middle class guy would be greater than or equal to 37.25 now let's see what the answer key tells us if the valuation is greater than 25 the 
part will be constructed that's false that's not enough it has to be at least 37.25 and we are done